Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Imperion. Um, well, this is going to be a remake of the Iron Man, the Ultimate Iron Man. I'm going to, I have actually loaded up Alpha 7 point or 8.7.0 1896. This is the experimental version. That's right. I've gone back to the experimental branch of gameplay uh for imperion as you know the iron man i got killed by of all things a plant so i figured since experimental has started doing updates again i'm going to reload this i am going to change the only thing that we talked about earlier, constructor craft speed. This makes no difference whatsoever in the game play. All it does is add to the grind. I don't care about the blueprint repair. Don't care about any of that other crap. True, true, true. Auto miners, I never use them. Everybody knows that. So hard settings with constructor speed normal. Okay, as you know, the Ultimate Iron Man is still in play, and it's still Season Zero. They're still testing just to work out bugs and other fun things. I took a couple weeks off of Imperion for some personal life issues, and to take some time to de-stress, I went and I played a little bit of Space Engineers, so you probably hear me ranting about that pile of game again. So <clears throat> we're going to call this experimental ultimate iron man set. Now last time I just randomly hit a seed number. I'm just going to randomize it a little bit. There we go. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Seed makes no difference. Um, so we're going to jump into this. Now again, of course, I'm probably going to have to log back out and come back in to uh, reset the difficulty settings back to hard, but that's fine. All right, here we are coming down on the planet. Now, once again, I'm still going to try to play it Iron Man mode. That is, I'm going to do everything in my power to... Uh, stay alive as long as humanly possible. So we're going to aim. <clears throat> right here. Grab our bottle of water. Put this inventory open that make one of these make one of those get our keyboard wrenching and we're gonna start heading down this hill <clears throat> now you've all seen the beginning of Iron Man many times over I'm not going to drag you through me running around grinding and harvesting and whatnot for far too long I mean I will do a little bit here um, because I did want to talk about some of the things that's going on. Um, as I said, I, I did play a little bit of um, Space Engineers, and I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison, and I was thinking I might try and actually do a video of that, although I'm not entirely sure. There are a few things in Space Engineers that I really wish Imperion would implement, and... Basically, I don't think there's anything that space engineers could do to actually... Uh, I, I'm not going to say make it better. I don't think there's anything that space engineers could do that would actually make the game playable. Um, they've announced that they are basically shelving space engineers, so it's going to basically reach a point where it's no longer supported and it's entirely reliant on... Uh, 
the modding community to continue making it playable. Oh, are you kidding me? That's not something I want to find. Okay, well, well we're going to go another way. <laughs> Let's go this way. I like this way. This is a different way. Drone factory. Seriously. <clears throat> I mean, I, I personally, um, the, the way inventory is managed and the way the constructors and such work, or construction works in, particularly blueprint construction works in Space Engineers, is things that I really would like to see Imperion implement. But um, other than that, there's really not much else. So I'm going to... Uh, Try to get back into playing a little bit of the Iron Man game here now that I've taken my break and I've uh, just seen exactly how buggy that game still is. And I'll pick it up if I find or see anything of interest that happens between now and landing. Now remember, I am on experimental, so there is a lot of new changes, including... Uh, some AI changes to the Xerox. x um, Apparently now they come at you in waves and swarms. Uh, same with drones. They don't just send one or two. They send entire, uh, uh, entire squadrons. And I believe there's some new drone craft as well um, that we'll be keeping our eyes out for. I'm hoping to see some of that implemented. Um, hopefully also some additional changes that I just haven't read of in the change notes. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm making 100 XP right now, so I have to remember to go and switch back over to hard settings for some reason. So we'll do that real quick. Hard constructor spas. Blech, constructor on normal, but everything back to hard. Hit OK and load that game. So I guess that bug hasn't been fixed yet. There we go, and we're back. Um, now one of the reasons I did take the break away from playing on Iron Man, apart from the fact that I died and uh, that sort of thing, I really haven't had time. Um, <clears throat> the biggest problem with the Iron Man competition, of course, was there's the initial grind. Um, the original exploration of the starter planet, of course, is a size 4. They're going to change that in future renditions to a size 3. That's something I'm looking for right there. Um, because the original planet was too big to be searched by most people in the first week. Um, finding the starter POI was also a little too difficult. But for me, the biggest problem I had was the fact that I just don't have time. I, I have a couple of hours, maybe a week, to play uh, for any substantial amount of time. Um, And I can't really enjoy the game if all I'm doing is grinding like mad just to get the resources I need to do even the simplest of things. Um, the first the first day one grind for me was, uh, yeah, basically it was two or three back-to-back 14-hour -back, uh, days, plus I was spending any free time I had trying to do the grind um, early on, and I just can't do that. Okay, I can't hit this tree. I can't hit the tree and I can't pick up the rock. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to pick it up if I see anything else interesting or I manage to get the stuff together to make my 
starter uh, gear. So don't go away, kids. We'll be right back. Okay, kids, as you can see, it is sunset. Um, I've basically been traveling along the edge of this swamp, come up onto a beach area, and I've been picking up as much stone and rock as I can, as well as any other usable things, and basically just salvaging. I've got some silicon, I've got some copper, I've got a little bit of iron, and I've now got my second mobile constructor, portable constructor, whatever they're called, created. So we're just going to start slapping these down, and we're going to get some stuff ordered. First off, what we want is a, a hover vessel core. Two, three, four of those little things. A cockpit, a fuel tank, and a generator. We're going to start with that and let this thing cook. We're going to throw those in there and we're going to order up fuel. I oh, don't have enough for that, but we'll order those. And we'll throw this stone in here just in case we need the extra ingot or two. And then we're going to go and continue collecting stone and other goodies. Now one of the things of course is um, in the in the daytime here will be at the point where we will start spawning spiders. So we have to uh, take advantage of as much of the nighttime as we can to actually craft something um, that can get us moving. Now some people will take the time and they'll make drills and tools and uh, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a, a motorcycle early on. And I'm all, I'm not going to say anything uh, against that. I mean, that's dependent on how you like to play. If you want to do that, that's great. I personally don't like to do that. Um, motorcycles in my opinion anyway, are a fairly large waste of resource early game. With these new uh, three-way hover pads, there's no reason you can't get a very simple survival hover vessel right off the bat and get moving fairly quickly on. As you can see, I now have the basic components to make a first level hover vessel. So now we're going to click on some of the other things that we need. <clears throat> you just stay over there and squawk. Um, open up our tech tree again and scroll down and we don't have level 5 to unlock the armor locker anyway. Oh, that's okay. I do want to unlock the detector. That's something else I'll want fairly early on. Mobile constructor again, that's level five. And or scanner has to be unlocked. And this is level five. I have three available points of four, so the only other thing I want to unlock, shotgun is seven. Okay. So we'll start with this. And I don't have anything else in here that I need worked on. This has two stacks. That in there, and we'll make up some fuel. While that's cooking, okay, so we'll start with number four. Again, if you look straight at 
these. Sometimes you can work it just the right way that it will balance nicely. And then other times it'll fall over on its back and be completely useless to you. <clears throat> okay, it's upside down and backwards. Remember that you cannot take it apart. So whatever you build is going to be upside down and backwards until you get it upright. So I go with cockpit two, which has only 250 kilograms. And I'll put that on like so. I'll switch on N, symmetry plane, YZ. And we'll make sure we do that here. Switch over to hover pads, two there, two there. See if we can flip this thing over. Okay, I can't flip it over. Hmm. Now here's a problem because it's glitched into the world and I can't flip it over. I want to put the remaining two components on, but I don't want them on underneath. I don't really see any choice in the matter unless I strap them on the side. It just means that this could be a bit of a rocky ride here until I can get my hands on a um, multi-tool. We'll grab some fuel. Again, we'll jump into the cockpit. Open the P-menu. Throw that in and get out of the ground. Power it off, jump out. Not sure why I'm getting the radiation noise, but I am. Okay. <clears throat> so there we have it, our survival multi or our survival um, hover vessel. Now, I might be able to do is make a replacement. No, I don't have enough materials to make either of the replacement parts. If I could make these, I would try, try to do is make a replacement set and just put them on and then flip the old ones off. I don't have the material for it yet. So we'll let this keep cooking. Um, I need to generate some things. So there we have it. This is Iron Man experimental version uh, again, Ultimate Iron Man Season Zero scenario. We're now playing on the experimental, Imperion experimental version. And we've made it to the point of the end of the first day. And we're going to come up to the start of the second day where we'll begin the exploration of our starter planet. Which as you can see, landed us right next to a drone factory. <laughs> ah, this doesn't get any better than that. Champion Monument. Now, this is a place where we should waypoint. I'll show that on HUD. I want to move towards this um, as a probably as initial start. In future Iron Man episodes, um, the uh, POIs that are around the Champion Monument will not be there. Uh, they, they said they're going to cut those down 
to substantially fewer actual POIs around there. So that's something to keep in mind. But we're just going to let this craft up a bit more fuel and we'll wait till we're getting a little closer to daylight and we'll get moving. So thanks all for watching, kids, and hope that you join us on the next episode where we continue to see what kind of changes the um, experimental has brought, and we will continue the test play of the ultimate in Iron Man. Um, also, remember that this season or this scenario is available. You can jump in and play it yourself. Uh, most of the competitors have already finished or are very close to finishing um, the first season zero and there are actually some competitors who are still alive and having a good time so thanks all for watching and good night for now